Hey everybody, Sir Tap Tap here. It's slightly late today, but um, this is your weekly update. So, nothing really new in Abitsium, unfortunately. Still no word of a Halloween update. Um, usually, if there's going to be an update, it's on Monday, and it doesn't seem to have happened today. So, maybe next week, maybe maybe they'll do one in, in, in November. I We don't really know. There, there's been no communication, and that's just kind of how Abitsium, unfortunately, is. Um, if you've been holding off on the freshwater update, it seems like it's about as stable as it's going to get for the time being. So I would just kind of play it if that's what you want. Um, and if you find freshwater unfun, which I know some do, maybe just wait to play while until there's an event, which is pretty much what I do at this point. I don't really, I don't play actively anymore unless there's new stuff to see. Because I mean, I've seen all the rest. So yeah. That's pretty much it for Abyssio, unfortunately. Um, in terms of live streams this week, we've got a bunch of stuff already. Uh, Mediacom checked out my internet and does not seem to have fixed much, but my internet's been stable enough that I can always stream something, at least. So I'm not going to worry too much about scheduling and stuff anymore. Um, tomorrow, Tuesday, the 15th, of October. I'm streaming Wonder Wickets, which is actually a really interesting game. It's I really like the art style and I haven't played a mini golf or I guess more like crochet in this case kind of game in a while. But the main dev on that game actually made Me and My Dinosaur, which is actually the first game that I played on YouTube that actually got really big. Um, I mean, maybe not really big by, you know, uh, big YouTuber standards, but it was my first video that got over a thousand views and at the time getting over a hundred views was really big for me So that was like crazy. I remember my phone was blowing up by getting notifications and he uh, Apparently he still holds crockle face in high regards if you haven't seen um, Remind me if I forget, but I'll put a link to the um, me and my dinosaur. Let's play of mine in the comments It'll it's very old. It might be a little bit awkward. I definitely have a terrible mic and my voice even sounds a little bit different. It, it was eight years ago. Goodness, that's right, Parker. You weren't even born yet. You weren't even born yet. And uh, yeah, recorded in college, and it was kind of one of my first, well, not one of my first, but it was my first year doing Let's Plays for sure, so didn't have a lot of stuff worked out. I think it was pretty fun. I, re I remember some good moments from that. Uh, might just be nostalgia, but if you want to check that out, as kind of, you know, homework for, you know, importance or tap tap videos, I guess you can. Otherwise, um, it'd be cool to catch the stream. Um, I'll check the game out. I haven't played it yet, but uh, it comes out Wednesday and I got an early review copy. So I'll be checking that out see what it is. Like I said, the, the art style looks really cute. I like it. And maybe this playable croco face, probably not, but that'll mean neat. Um, as for the weekend streams, um, I'm streaming Mouse Sweet and Ao Oni. I know if um, Nyanai is watching, I believe Nyanai is the one who recommended Mouse Sweet. That looks like a good RPG Maker horror thing. So both of those will be in one stream because I think they're both about two hours uh, tops. So that'll be a good, you know, I tried to aim for four hours for, you know, big quote unquote streams like this. And then. Uh, let me double check. I think it's dot flow. I have, I have a lot of stream scheduled, so <laughs> let me just be absolutely sure here. But I think it's dot flow on this Sunday, which is Sunday the mer, Sunday the mer if you're a cat, or Sunday the twenty first if you're not a cat, for some strange reason. Uh, yeah, it's dot flow. Dot flow is a pretty intense. It's a little bit more horror. It's a little bit more of a story. But it shouldn't be, it's not like a screamer game. Uh, it's still a chill, weird kind of thing. Well, maybe less chill, but it's like a surreal experience rather than like aliens jumping out and like trying to eat your scrotum. Um, then on Saturday the 27th, we're gonna be playing the PT demo, which is a little bit old at this point. I think it came out in 2014. Um, it was originally, it was, you know, a trailer for Silent Hills, but that game kind of got canceled, but it's still a fantastic piece of uh, interactive horror. it's I think it's about an hour to two hours tops, and I'll be playing it from a brand new save file. First time i played it in four years. I It will not unfortunately be me playing it like brand new, but uh, it's really cool, and if you haven't seen it before, I really recommend checking it out. It's uh, me. 
It's interesting both from being like a canceled game project and just it was really good in and of itself. It's a real shame that got canceled. And since PT is a little bit short, I'm gonna be playing The Looking Glass, which is supposed to be a very good Yumi Nikki fan game. Um, that's supposed to be about two hours, so the two of those combined should be about four hours. And then for our finale, we are going to be playing Yumi Graffiti, which is another pretty long Yumi Nikki fan game that's on October 28th. And again, if you just go to youtube.com slash their tap tap um, or my channel page, all of the streams that I have scheduled are already lined up there and you can click to get a reminder in your email when the stream starts and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much the best way. Or if you go into my Discord, which is just surtabdub.com slash Discord, uh, there's a channel where you see all the new live streams. Uh, I've also planned out... I've got two patron board game nights already planned out. Those are on the first Saturday of the month, every month. And I've got Spyro Reignited Trilogy on the calendar, which I'm uh, really looking forward to that. That's in November. So, that's what we got looking on our plate right now. Um, as far as how has life been, um, just got done with a, a week off and... Or no, I didn't. That, that, was, that was a week ago. It's um, Just got done with a company boat trip on Friday, which was pretty cool. Um, hi, Parker, yes. We had the, the, the grumpiest bartender, and um, it's it actually snowed, which is not ideal for a boat, but we're, I mean, we're inside most of the time anyway, so, I mean, we were that day. I, I was outside um, much of the day, the last year's boat trip, but it was, you know, sunny and nice. Uh, but it was still fun, better than being at work. And uh, we had fun, work's going all right. Um, things have been pretty all right. We clean up the house and just, you know, self-care kind of stuff, I guess. Um, again, been fairly productive, but busy. Which, there's, there's worse place, paces. Bleh. There's worse things to be. Yes, you are a very fluffy boy. Oh, and we get, Parker got a lovely gift from a fan making messes. Um, thank you very much. There'll be a video. I usually put Parker videos out on Fridays. I kind of have a, a few Parker videos stored up at this point, actually. So I need to remember to start putting those out. But yeah, Parker videos on Friday, um, and I actually have a series that I, I'm gonna, I cut it into, l let me ask you, do you prefer, would you prefer a lot of 15 minute chunks of videos released day by day, or would you prefer just a couple of 45 minutes to an hour videos? Possibly released a little more, you know, a little more time in between. Because I have this really interesting, weird RPG Maker game called Toilet in Wonderland. And it's it's better than you think, I promise. And I split it up into 15 minute bits. I'm kind of thinking that I'll use YouTube's premiere thing and put them into one hour segments. And then we can all watch them together. And Because I like, I like the premiere thing. But premieres don't really seem like they work well with like short 15 minute things, so I kind of want to put those to an hour. I think that's what I'll do, but uh, let me know what you think, I guess. So yeah, hopefully we learn some more stuff about Abyssrium. Food Fantasy's been going great. Uh, I think the events are a little bit too intense in Food Fantasy. But otherwise I've been having a good time. Parker is destroying- I guess it's mostly fall, but Parker is not helping my allergies right now. Getting his tail in my face. But yeah, oh speaking of Parker. Um, I have a goal on Patreon. If we get $200 a month, I get a, I'll get buy a webcam for the first time in my life, and I will set it up, and we will record Parker. Whenever he interrupts my streams or videos, you'll, there'll be a little live feed as he ruins everything for me. So that'll be interesting. Um, it's currently at about 160 so just 40 more bucks. So every buck helps on the Patreon, even if you don't care about the rewards or don't care about the goals or whatever. If you just want to support my work, that's always a great way to do it. And I always appreciate, you know, not everybody can, you know, support with money. I still appreciate, um, you know, just watching the videos or good comments are a great way to help or sharing the videos. Um, not a lot of people share uh, YouTube stuff, so, you know, that's always a good way to help for free. So that's pretty much the week. Uh, thanks for watching.